Forces the ball up so close to goal. Tippett got it down. And the tackling from Cunningham was excellent. The umpire let them play for a bit longer. And now he's going to play holding the ball. We've seen some wayward kicking this round. But that's not a problem. It's a stunning dominance. Oh, well done. Parker, one of the informed players in the competition. Heaney, Cheney. Oh. <laughs> it rhymes. And it was poetry in motion for the Swans. Oh, good work in tights for the Swans dominated. Mitchell off half back. Here we go. One on one again. Franklin in front of Talia has just done enough. Laird Temple missed the mark though. And McLean bursting towards goal. Swans are back in front. Jane Rampy now 25 years of age. Oh! Heaney. The skills he possesses takes a lovely mark. Not 15. Ruda waiting for Rampy and Eddie. Jenner in his sights. That is a tough call, isn't it? Yeah. Is that 15 or not where that is? It's pretty close. I'll tell you what, that is very close to 15. They've done two of those calls already tonight, so. This is Eddie from his pocket. And that's why it is. It's willing stuff. Crouch. Desperate handball at the back. Heaney got to the boot as swiftly as he could. Franklin and Talia and tip it. Franklin, last man standing, out of my way. Dribbles it through for a goal. Another one of those midfielders, Mitchell, and another and another. Kennedy and Hanabry send it forward. Franklin just holds off Hardigan, gets a metre advantage, and should create a goal for Isaac Heaney. No, hand it back. Swans within a point. Sets it up. Sets it flying in towards Over the forward. back. Oh, Heaney's out the back. Bang. Sydney back in front. For Richards. Betts bobs up. Atkins. Just sorting through the menu of choices. Settles on Seedsman. Jenkins. To full forward. Grundy. It's going to bounce through. Jenkins holds his lead. In fact, the kick goes to him. Bang. And Jenkins goes back at it again. Smith, the pressure builds. The options grow. Douglas snaps truly. And now from the stand start, Smith gets it out of there. Back to the wing. Douglas McVeigh with the flight. Mills. Great catch. Superb. Shown his aerial ability already. Flies no mark, as you can see. McVeigh, they're out the swans. The kick, a challenging one. Franklin, Good Lever. Go chase. Go chase, Lever. Try and chase Franklin. No He's got it there and gets it off quickly to Kennedy. And it's deep for Franklin again. His fourth goal coming up. You're going to play on here. No, he shares the love. And Kurt Tippett will get booed, booed, booed as he puts through another. Just outside the 50. Smith again towards full forward. Can Seedsman get there to compete? He could. He didn't mark it, but he's gone. Tip it, and then Parker, and then Parker again comes through. Well, Heaney's free. And Buddy's on his own in the square as well. He's ready to go for his fourth. Franklin puts it through. And they're back under a goal. Just to deposit it for Pitts, who flew. Miller up, looms. Now it's Lynch's boot from Eddie's pocket. It's up for grabs, Lynch will fly. Lyons came hard as well. Coming from all angles, he gets the handball out. Rory Atkins, listen to the roar! Rampy, oh, Jack is on, Jack's out the back. He is, Jack out the back. He can take it and stream towards goal. It's downstream here for the Swans. The goal's on, he can pass it over to Heaney. And he puts it through. And she's still well and truly on. Of Kurt Tippett, but it's not done yet. It's still on the wing and it's up for grabs. They handball their way into the clear now. Douglas emerges, tempted by the vacant square. He was. The temptation was great. And he bounced. Who else went Eddie? We're down to 40 seconds. This is where heroes are made from half back for the Swans. No, it's all Adelaide. It's Eddie again. The killer blow. Enjoy this. Sound. He'll run it there. And the Crows get it done. What a win. What a game of football. We've loved what we've seen from the Adelaide Crows this season. 
but we weren't sure until tonight about what this form meant. But now we know it's real and it's magnificent. The 10th, Sundays, right here on afl.com.au.